Hello warriors, thanks for joining in. Today let us have a look at the various types of pelvic pain that ankylosing spondylitis causes. Let's start from behind. As you all know, ankylosing spondylitis causes inflammation of the sacroiliac joints. The pain of sacroiliitis is a deep seated pain localized to the buttock area and at times it can radiate down into the thigh. Coming to the front, one of the commonest pains with ankylosing spondylitis is hip pain. The hip pain is caused because of one, inflammation of the hip secondary to ankylosing spondylitis. Secondly, it may also be because of secondary osteoarthritis in the hip. Persistent inflammation on the hip causes degeneration of the cartilage and this leads to osteoarthritis and secondary pain. We'll have a look at what osteoarthritis and what it causes in, in the subsequent videos. This pain is something that is deep seated. You can localize it to the hip area and this is something that worsens when you flex the thigh at the hip. One of the other causes of common causes of uh, pelvic pain because of ankylosing spondylitis is something that is located in the inguinal fold area. Inguinal fold area is, is the area where the abdomen meets the thigh. There is a ligament called as inguinal ligament which stretches from this bone to this bone. There are muscles attached to the top and the bottom part of the inguinal ligament. Ankylosing spondylitis causes inflammation of these muscles at the attachment of the inguinal ligament, something called as enthesitis and this leads to pain here. It is a superficial pain and you can localize it right at the inguinal fold area. At times, the pain can only be localized at this point. You can you can make it out if, if you touch, you can touch the bone and the pain is localized again over here. There are muscles attached to this bone as well. This is called as the iliac crest and one can have ill-defined pain in this area because of the enthesitis of muscles attached to this area. There is a bone called as, this is the area of the bone called as pubic symphysis which is located right in the center. Ankylosing spondylitis causes inflammation here as well and can cause superficial pain in this area which is this can be very painful at times. Lastly, many ankylosing spondylitis warriors have deep seated pain either in the pelvic area or the back of the thigh area. This is again enthesitis of the thigh muscles especially the hamstrings where they get attached into these bones. So now I am sure you know what all different types of pelvic and buttock pain ankylosing spondylitis can cause. I came up with this video because we routinely come across uh, AS warriors who have intractable pain in the pelvic and the thigh area, something that is not solved even with multiple consultations with multiple doctors. So that was the ankylosing spondylitis video, the stand for AS video for this week. Thanks for joining in. Do join us next week. Thank you.